Hello and what's up my friends, it's Thunderbob here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a new game that I find quite fascinating. This is Arzette, The Jewel of Faramore, by developer CDI Software. Let's say that again. CDI Software, as in the CDI console. The CDI was a CD-based system that released in the early 90s, and this game is a love letter to that system, and more specifically, the Zelda games that were released for that system. I never owned the CDI growing up, but I could remember for a time I wanted one very, very badly. We would go shopping at a store called Service Merchandise, which also no longer exists. And they had this demo unit set up with a bunch of game demos, including one of the Zeldas. I can't remember which one it is, but I just remember being fascinated by it. This would have to have been the early to mid 90s, maybe like 94. I'm just guessing from my recollection here. Uh, at the time, I'd never seen an FMV game, and this just it drew my attention. It blew my mind back then that games could have animation and realistic video and CD quality soundtracks. And I begged my parents to buy me one, but the CDI was very expensive and we never had the money for one. So I guess it's for the best because this system is renowned as being one of the worst with some of the worst games. For its time, it was a CD drive based game system, but it was really underpowered. Like it had the CD drive with lots of space but it was like not that much more powerful than like a Super Nintendo at the time. Uh, it had a very bad controller, just all around it wasn't a great gaming machine, but I was just fascinated by it. I, you know, I wasn't really into the gaming scene at the time, I didn't have the internet, magazines didn't really cover this thing, but I wanted one so badly. And I think that's what draws me to this. Um, you know, since then I have gone back and I've checked out some of those games on emulation, and through the lens of nostalgia, it's still pretty hard to go back to them. They're they're still not that great even today, um, even with all the nostalgia I have. Them. Now Arzette enters the the play space here, and this is a love letter to that system, and I find it really fascinating. Um, it's a really niche title, you know. This is this game is kind of aping on a very little known console, and it's aping on. You know, it's a Zelda game, but it is by far the worst Zelda game and probably the least known Zelda game. But to the people that do know it, I, I think they're really going to be drawn to this game. Um, so that's why I wanted to cover tonight. Like, I, I played, you know, just a few minutes of this game as a child and it just fascinated me. And to, to see this game today come out that is like, you know, so, so inspired by that old game. You know, that, that's really why I wanted to check it out tonight. So we're going to jump in and play, you know, a few minutes of it, maybe 15, 20, 30 minutes, depending on when I find a good stopping point. And uh, we'll talk through my thoughts on the game, my thoughts on the history of the CDI and Zelda, and just whatever comes to mind. And uh, we'll jump right in here. All right, we're going to start on normal mode. Ten years of scrubbing floors! Finding these jewel shards was no easy task, but now... Oh no. At long last, I have returned. Nodoki, for freeing me, I offer you power. Y yes, Master. Th th thank you. In exchange for thy soul. Uh, of course, Master. Hmm. Very good. Henceforth, you'll have the power to crush your foes in my name. Now, on to other matters. Master! My trusted I love the service. cast of characters here. I am pleased you've not forgotten me. Take each of these shards and guard it with your life so that I may never scarecrow. be imprisoned again. My revenge will be unforgiving. The punishment will be eternal. This kingdom will be mine. Just a little over the top. But very in keeping with the style of those CDI games. Your Majesty, 
Our worst fears have come true. Dimer and his minions have returned. That's impossible. What about the Jewel of Faramore? Oh, our vigilance waned. The Jewel Shards are with the enemy. Ah, easy peasy. We just gotta get the Jewel back together and trap him in that old book, right? Uh, if only a dark fog has filled the land. It prevents our approach. Your eyes cannot see daylight out there. What about the sacred beacons? They weakened Dimer before. I'm afraid that due to complacency, they've been left unlit. Hmm. Oh well, what can we do? Well, as you know, only a member of the royal family can rekindle the beacons. I'm ready. Well, I'm not. That is so Another Link right there. Issue. My scouts report Seldom link with other names. dark tapestries that impede critical paths. Oh, oh. I'm waiting for him to be like, problem. excuse My me, princess. Sacred candles throughout the kingdom that can burn these tapestries. That settles it then. Another fun adventure for me to stay out of. Where must I go? I place teleportation scrolls throughout the kingdom that you may use. So long as the dark fog around them has been dispelled. I'll be leaving then. Good luck! Get back before dinner! Be safe, my daughter. They're so terrible, but so amazing at the same time. And that is definitely aping... Wanna defeat Dimer? Let's get started. Move left or right to start running. I am 99% sure that's the voice actor of Link. Like, I, I was reading a little bit about this, and they have some of the original voice actors from that old CDI game. I'm pretty sure that's, that's Link's voice actor. Press jump to leap. Jumping into action. Press attack to slash your sword. Hey, you have a smart sword. It interacts with both objects and people. It hurts only those that aren't friendly. Get some bombs by slashing that bag. And this totally looks like it could have been a CDI game. Like it, you know, it, it was kind of that bridge between the, the Super Nintendo and the 32-bit era. Uh, I love that kind of style, the 2D... Um, I don't know, that era, I've got a lot of nostalgia for it. Um, but reading about this, so they've tried to be as true as possible to those old games, like bringing in voice actors, bringing in animators from that Zelda game. Um, the style, like the style of that intro animation is straight up, like that could have been a cutscene in one of those games. Press item to use items. Try bombing some column. Press item to use item. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm pretty sure that's actually Moving dialogue in the original you to game. Enter doors and climb ladders. Go in that door. You can crouch by moving down. Moving while crouching lets you duck walk. Yeah, this I... old trick gets you into tight spaces. Your magic pouch holds your items. You can select items here, view your quest status, and set options. So much space, huh? I did go and play those Zelda games. Um a couple years ago. Close to you until you have the right tools. Keep that in mind while you explore. And uh, so, like a lot of this is so familiar, like Remember that duck walk line. Sacred beacons. They'll open new areas, so be sure to find. Oh, you them. only get one bomb at a time. I never beat them. Like they're, they're not terrible. I think they get a bad rap actually, but um, they're not good by any means. And uh, I, I couldn't, I couldn't stick with it all the way to the end but it's like a fascinating piece of gaming history scrolls allow you to exit to the world map quickly go ahead take off well what are you waiting for defeat dimer and have some fun so you got a world map here so you got fairmore town and duridan force is that where it came from no okay just like buy some junk You struck luck, my friend. <laughs> These wares aren't elsewhere. My goods will improve your fortunes, so long as you improve mine. Thanks, bro. So you... You struck luck, my friend. These wares aren't elsewhere. My goods will you actually have to uh, fortunes, attack them to... As long uh, as you improve mine. To talk to them, that's pretty great. And I'm playing with a controller here. I, I 
that's probably the best way to play this. If you ever need something special though with that little sword of yours, just drop by and I'll give it a shellac. <laughs> the main reason to play those old games today, like, isn't the gameplay, it's for the ridiculous cutscenes, and they ape that perfectly here. Like, these could all be cutscenes from 1994 uh, Zelda, the one of Gamelon. Like, it just, straight up, it could be. Isn't the world just so bleak? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> it is! Oh, I resolve to see all colors. Not just what these puny eyes can show me. I will alchemize these shrimp goggles. You'll see. <laughs> or, rather, I'll see. <laughs> Very eccentric. But, like, that's the main reason. Like, if, if you ever want to go back and play those original Zelda games... It's mostly just for the ridiculous cutscenes and characters. Like the gameplay is is pretty mediocre. How do I get up there? I say, what a lovely day in the kingdom. Yeah, fighting Dimer is great. Haven't you noticed his return? No, oh, that dreadful villain. Heavens to Betsy, I I just want to get back to the ballroom. But it's not just like the dialogue, it's everything. It's like the, the style, how they're super overly animated. Like in the original, it was like they were constantly like twitching. I don't know what it was even about. Uh, the way they kind of like pause for a second. Like it, there's so much attention to detail, detail to make this like as close to a real City I game as possible. I declare this the safest place in the land. And rabble rousers and mischief makers have no quarter with me. The crown is ever grateful for your service. Anything to report? Rumors speak of strange scrolls that allow you to teleport to special areas. Special... areas? Places that test your metal and reward you with riches. Oh, oh, oh if I could teleport, I'd find these scrolls and... <laughs> halt, ne'er-do-weller! There was actually three Zelda games that came out for the CDI. Um, how far does this go? Uh, oh, I bet I can break that. I just, I knew it. It's a rat guy. Um, yeah, there were three. In 1993, on the same day, the Zelda The Faces of Evil and Wands of Gamelon came out. One you played as Zelda, one you played as Link. They were both side-scrollers, kind of like in the Zelda 2 style. And then in 94, Zelda's Adventure came out, which was more of a top-down, like, original Zelda, Link to the Past style Zelda. Um, that one actually used live actors for all the cutscenes, which was kind of worse in a way. Let's see what the rat says. Howdy there, stranger. I take it you're on a quest. Right. Apologies for the hole. Oh, no worries about that. I could use a little sunshine in here anyway. <laughs> if you dig further down, maybe I can finally get some plumbing in here too. You know, an adventurer has got to explore all curiosities. Curiosities? Yeah. Crack walls, strange spaces. Investigate them. Of course, you don't seem to be afraid of throwing those bombs. I once even heard of a hero finding a cooked turkey leg in a wall. Oh, oh, oh. season to perfection, the legend <laughs> says. Yeah, you might even find a few coins hidden away by portly old fools. Keep your eyes peeled, you hear? Thanks. I'll do my best. Oh, <laughs> that's the spirit. Floor turkey's the best. The controls feel way more responsive than that original game. And what's actually funny, uh, while researching this, so the guy who made this game actually, ooh, he, um, was responsible. There was a remake of uh, those original two CDI Zelda games that he released back, I think it was in 2020, but it was like the exact game, except it had like more responsive, better control, 60 FPS, that sort of thing. And uh, I want to go back and actually try those out because I played the emulated versions and they're kind of terrible. But like uh, a version that has slightly better controls definitely seems like something that could actually be pretty decent. Oh, your grace. <laughs> At ease, Univor. Did I surprise you? 
the good kind of surprise. Not like running out of supplies. You don't want to be caught without a bomb in a hard place. I'll remember that. Keep up the good work. Yes, princess. princess kind of got a dump truck, no! isn't she? I'm digging it. Can I go up? I can... I was worried I was going to die there. So this seems to be kind of like just a exploration area. Doesn't seem to be like a lot of enemies. Like this is the castle, obviously. Let's uh, let's go to that second area. But there's there's more enemies there. Yeah, and listen to that soundtrack. It's beautiful. So you got low attack, you got high attack. I got hit already. And and just like in classic Zelda style, three hearts to start with. It's definitely more responsive. Like, I remember um, in those CDI games, it was like you couldn't input, like, more than one thing without, like, a, a fairly lengthy, like, delay. So it'd be like you'd jump, and then you couldn't, like, attack for, like, a half second. You really had to, like, time things perfectly. It was kind of, it was kind of terrible, to be honest. I need hurt. Okay, that didn't kill me. I thought that was gonna kill me. Oh, I thought that was gonna stop at the at the wood. Oh, at least it gives you three hearts in the same room. That's kind of nice. I like that he pulls the axe out of his own face. He cannot attack while you're on the on the ladder. And these games, I feel like, are pretty renowned for being difficult. Oh, this is like Hotel Mario, another CDI classic. How do I kick it up? Oh, elevator goes up. Yeah, just like Hotel Mario. I bet those doors are gonna start opening on their own if I don't hurry. Nice. I'm definitely digging that, like the mini games. Uh, that's cool. That reminds me of Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Country with all like the hidden things. I bet I have to get something to be able to unlock that. Hmm, it's locked. Oh, there it is. Key. How did I miss that? I wonder if I could throw a bomb at that. I feel like I probably can. Oh, it's too far away anyways. I feel like it's not the bomb symbol. Oh, great. Oh. They finally sent someone to kill me. All right, make it snappy. I'm sure you got places to go, other people to kill. Uh, no, who would do that? Oh, my name is Cypress. I want to move into town, but the mayor. I freaking love this guy. I'm a monster man. I don't think that. Really? You don't think I'm a disgusting rabbit? What? You think you could convince the mayor to let me move in then and stop thinking I'm the wolf among us? If you do, this old lantern is yours. It sounds like a good deal. Speak with the mayor to help him and he'll attend and report quests like these are logged on your quest screen. So where is my quest? Okay. Ooh. You got a little you got a little screen here to remind you. He seemed like a nice enough guy, right? Probably not gonna eat our faces. Yeah, I'm totally digging this right now. Like, the thing is though, is it is it good because I'm like, there's so much nostalgia with me for these type of games that like just haven't been a thing for years and years. Um, I don't know, like. 
it's on Steam, so you always get that refund option. So if you bought it and you're like, yeah, this just isn't for me. But if you have any affection for like old school side scrolling games, and especially if you ever had a CDI or wanted one back in the day like I did, uh, this totally hits all of those notes that like, you know, the really terrible animated videos, like the the music, the, the graphics here, everything feels like this is just a CDI game. This is like a CDI game that, that got canceled just before release and we're just getting it played for the first time. That's what it feels like, except this would have been like... If your average CDI game was like a 4, this would have been like a 9 on that system. Because uh, there really weren't very many good CDI games. Like, there's a handful of passable games, and then there's some uh, ports from other consoles. What's that? Did this get teleport? Golly! It's our Zet! Ho ho! You've already lit a beacon! I doubt the rest will be that easy. Any new info? Mm, indeed. My scouts have reported blockades enchanted with color magic. How am I supposed to get through them? You'll need a tool that can fire magic of the same color. Mm, Great. Those with the barrier Something was else I have to find. Careful, RZ! Don't get red in the face! <laughs> oh, I really hope she punches Tell me there's only point. one color to deal with. Mm, to my knowledge, there are three types of color magic. <sighs> Don't look so blue, princess! <laughs> I'm going back now. <laughs> oh, man. This might not be it for everyone. But it was made for me, I feel like. Oh, I opened up three new worlds already? Very cool. I should go turn that... Oh, I couldn't talk to the mayor while I was in there. Where is the mayor, for that matter? Where are they... I was the blacksmith. And, like, the shop. Maybe it's blocked. Mayor, please oh, that's the mayor. Town citizenship. That beastly brute! That snivelly hound! Here in my Polkara Demon? Never! You know, my smart sword doesn't hurt friendly folks. You're not being very friendly. Ooh. Citizenship to Mr. Cypress granted. Ahoy, hoy! Thanks, Mayor. I gotta go back and give that to the, the dude. Let's see if I can just run past these guys. Ow. Those guys always like block after you hit them. Oh, I gotta go up the tree. Ooh. Yeah, I'll be editing this in a minute here, but I don't know. Right now, I'm really digging this. Like, I feel like this is a no! uh, a game I'll be playing on the Steam Deck. You know, let's go look at a new world. I don't want to waste your time. I go turn that in. Let's check out a new area. Ooh, that's red. Oh, I need a red wand to kill that guy. That's what they were talking about. And the guys are getting a little harder, more hits to kill them. Moving a little faster. This soundtrack reminds me a lot of Donkey Kong Country for some reason, doesn't it? Like, not, not only one of the best soundtracks of all time, but like, like the, the fact that that soundtrack was on the Super Nintendo always blew my mind. Like, I listen to that sometimes today. Imagine if they had CD quality audio back then, what Rare could have come up with when they were actually awesome. Yeah, I feel like I should be coming back here after I get that red thing, because there's lots of breakable wall. That like a spawner, enemy spawner. Can I? I was wondering if I could like back out 
from here. I don't know, I'm, I'm really digging it. If you have any affection for the CDI or the old school terrible Zelda games for it, I think you will get a kick out of this. Even if you don't, it feels like a fairly competent, you know, action platformer with really, really hilarious um, cinematic and voice acting and stuff. Like, it's... If you ever watched the Zelda cartoon, that really terrible... Excuse me, princess cartoon. Um, I think you would enjoy this. I got a bomb on me. I don't want to get exploded. I can't go back. Okay. I only have like one hit before I die. Once I die here, I'll probably end the video for now, but yeah. Uh, I don't know if I could speak any more highly of it. I'm, I'm really digging this. Uh, it's available on Steam and Switch and PlayStation and Xbox. It's like 20 bucks. Uh, there's also going to be a physical version, which I almost want to get um, through um, Limited Run Games. It's like a really cool collector's edition that comes with a replica CDI controller that will totally work with this thing. It plugs into your computer and everything. Um, that's really awesome. Locked. I kind of hope someday Nintendo allows those old games to get re-released, even like just as like a free Nintendo subscription thing. Maybe they maybe would. Phillips tied up with the rights would be difficult, but like the history of these games is so fascinating. The fact that it all came about because Nintendo and Sony parted ways, and Nintendo went to Phillips for a CD, and they, then they walked away from that. But like the remaining contract allowed them to use, um, you know, certain Nintendo characters, Zelda, Link, Mario to uh, create games, and they made pretty terrible games with those characters. Yeah, and the rest is history. What are you working on? Oh, it's just a little bow weapon that can shoot magic. <laughs> Thing is, I need fairy dust to get it working, but I can't find any fairies anymore. Oh, quel dommage. What about you, <laughs> child? Nope, but I'll keep a lookout for them. Ah, fantastic. I hear fairies hide in the desert. If you bring some of their dust, I get this arm working in très rapidement. You got it. You got a sister. So we go to the desert. I think I just don't want to quit playing right now. I've got a big smile on my face. Like, I don't know. It, it's it's a very cool game. Is that going to kill me or is it stuff down there? Oh! Um, yeah, but I, I think I'll end it here. Um, again, available everywhere, 20 bucks. If uh, you like those old school platformers, definitely check it out. And even if you don't, most of them have refund policies, so you could always refund it if you don't like it. Uh, I'll end the video here. If you enjoy this, please feel free to check out some of my other content. I have a bunch of other retro related videos, but also new AAA releases and virtual reality. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe, write me a comment with your thoughts, and thank you for watching everyone. Have a good night.